What's up guys, Alex here and in this video I'm gonna give you some concrete examples on some low level fear facing. And these tips, I want them to be like very very base level, something you can do when you feel a bit low but you don't have the energy to really go out there and face those bigger fears. I want it to be fears you can face at home. This is the second part of the fundamentals videos in how to take on a fear-facing journey and we do that to be comfortable with being uncomfortable so we can always be in the state of doing what we ought to do facing fears in order to live the life we want to live I love life! but before I go there I just have to give you some context for why I want to share this beginner level content with you right now it's the solution that has come to me from a state of not feeling too good lately <laughs> I'm actually kind of a mess right now. A life dwell, what path I should pursue and, and such. I just found myself very depressed and paralyzed, not taking any action. And I asked myself, Alex, what is it that you need to do right now? Well, you need to make this phone call happen. And so I did. And that just like ignited something. Facing fears over the phone. I found a job online. I'm just gonna make a call to the, the responsible person behind this ad. It's a bit scary because they're gonna judge me on my, the way I act now, if I'm a viable candidate or not. Come on, Alex, we can do this. I can't overthink this. No, I'm just gonna do it. <sighs> One of my oldest and dearest friends who actually got a kid a couple of months ago. We don't keep in contact that much, but I still love him very much. But I haven't called him because I just haven't taken the time and now it's like it's it has built up to this big thing. So I thought right now I'm gonna take this opportunity to call him. Hello? Hello Love. Hey Mondo. Yo hey son Emanuel, Nam Alexander. Just hang up the phone with my dad. I had an uncomfortable conversation which I've been avoiding for quite some time. And I think if you ask yourself, you have a bunch of those. Hey. Ooh, felt good, felt... I felt confident. High on this kick given to me by facing some fears, I feel purposeful again. What a wonderful conversation I just had. That's all I need to say. It made me spontaneously put out a little challenge for myself to do a bunch of uncomfortable fear-facing things. Having 10 uncomfortable conversations. Ah, oh, why did I have to put that out there? Now oh, I have to do it. And through that, I got the momentum going again. And I, I felt the energy, I felt the, the drive. Alex, having fun with Tinder. Ask this girl I've been texting on a date. Okay, I'm actually going to do this. But not only from a state of painting goals of what I was going to do, but actually doing something. And I grew from that momentum. Fuck. Ah! I sent it. One thing escalated to another and it just... Ah, it put me into a great state. The next little fear-facing thing is to actually reach out to a person found girl that is currently traveling the world, Fearless JC. She shares a common interest and you need to be around people that shares your interest. I thought I'd just messenger her and uh, see if she wanna talk or whatever. I got inspired to do more. It was on one of these YouTube events like one and a half years ago where I met a movie creator that has been in the industry for 30 years. And I really connected with this guy and I'm gonna seek him out on LinkedIn and send him a message. Boom. And that's why I have come to this point where I have realized I need to share this. I need to make like a basic fundamental series so I can explain how to start doing it. So with all that being said, let me introduce some concrete examples that you can either get inspired by or just copy straight off. Guess who has got another reply? I'm excited. I'm scared. What did you write? No, my battery died on me. Ah. <laughs> All she wrote was, you're not shy, I can tell. <laughs>